Hi friends. Kidney stones are painful and damage your kidneys. There are so many different types of kidney stones, but no matter which ones you get, here are some general tips to prevent kidney stones. First, make sure you drink plenty of water daily and pee often. Don't hold it even when you have a long drive or hike. Use the bathroom at school and at work. People who stop drinking water so that they don't pee get stones, urinary tract infections, and a weakened immune system because your whole body needs water to function. So how much water should you drink? Well, really this depends on how much you sweat, how fast you're breathing, and how much you're peeing, and whether or not you're having diarrhea and if you're taking medicines or foods that make you lose water or cause stones. So if everything is normal and you are healthy, you should be drinking eight to 12 cups a day. Now, if the temperature is hot, if you are excessively exercising, having a fever, having diarrhea, you'll definitely need to increase your fluid intake. And you can imagine how easy it is to get kidney stones after a hike or a day out to the amusement park. Now, if you are keeping up your fluid, make sure that you're drinking the right liquid because not all liquids are equal. I would avoid sodas. Sodas, especially fruit flavored sodas, have high levels of phosphoric acid, which can bind to calcium to make calcium phosphate stones. That's what your bone is made out of. Circulating calcium phosphate can crystallize into stones to damage your kidneys and avoid giving your kids juices. You may think that because you're getting mostly water and some vitamins, that liquid fructose, which is essentially soda or juice or energy drinks, or even in that coffee, can actually increase your risk of getting uric acid stones. Stones are simply large crystals of minerals that are lumped together. And if you've ever seen a crystal under the microscope, you'll know why it's actually very damaging. These needle-like threads can poke your kidneys and cause you to bleed. And it's really painful to pass a needle. It's easy to see why people who have stones have a lot of pain and a lot of blood. And this bleeding can happen anywhere from your kidneys, your ureters, your bladder, or urethra. But you know, when you're having fun at the amusement park, it's really easy to grab that refreshing sweet drink, but just know that it can cause stones and it's really better to buy plain water. The other mineral people overeat is sodium. So, you know, people who drink a lot of electrolytes, um, they're really, those drinks are packed with sodium and are horrible for your metabolism. And sodium, wherever that goes is where your water flows. And it actually pulls out your water, makes you dehydrated. So your kidneys will secrete more water, which forces extra minerals into the urine, increasing the risk of it clumping together, forming a stone. Unhealthy amounts of sodium are in electrolyte drinks, like sports drinks, prepackaged foods, snacks, especially those pre-made meats, because salt hides the rancid taste of iron and other metals that makes meat kind of taste off. Avoid jerky meats, sandwich meats, you know, restaurant foods, um, sports electrolyte drinks. Um, all these things can add to your sodium. And you can see how easily your diet can increase with um, processed foods to increase your stones. And the worst kind of diet of all is a ketogenic diet. It is very well known that the ketogenic diet, whether you're using it for a seizure control or weight loss, it increases your risk of stones. These diets, they first dehydrate you and cause you to lose rapid weight by urinating. This is not healthy. When you lose weight um, and you're peeing out tons of urine, you're gonna increase your stones. Ketones also make your body slightly acidic, and this acid is buffered by your muscles that draws out calcium. And so when you're concentrating calcium in your urine, that's another way to get calcium stones, calcium phosphate stones, or calcium oxalate stones. Both are the most common causes of kidney stones. However, eating more calcium is actually good for you. And when you increase your dietary calcium, you would think that eating high calcium foods would increase stone formation, but that's not what the data shows. Dietary calcium can bind to the oxalate and phosphates in your gut to prevent these harmful minerals from being absorbed. And there is no clear consensus on how much 
calcium you really need. In the UK, about 700 milligrams a day is recommended, and in the US, it's about 1,000 milligrams a day, depending on your age. So whatever you decide to target, try to eat and drink it in food and avoid calcium supplements that may increase your risk of stones. And always talk to your doctor to get specific information for your health. Another thing to consider is to reduce your animal protein. And it's not just for salt. In 1970s, it was noted that when people went from 50 grams of animal protein to 80 grams of animal protein, really that's what the average American eats, elevated stones were noted to be forming. And because when you eat protein, you form such ingredients as calcium, oxalate, and uric acid. Fish is worse, then comes pork, then poultry and cheese. They're actually worse than eating red meat. By reducing animal protein, you can reduce the secretion of uric acid crystals. And removing all meat can reduce your formation of stones by 93%. Eat more fruits and vegetables, and you may have heard that plants like spinach, berries, and beets are high in oxalate that can form calcium oxalate stones but the data shows that eating more plants reduces stones. Now, theoretically, if all you ate was that, then yeah, you may be at increased risk. So it's really important to eat a variety of foods, but studies show that eating more fruits and more vegetables will actually alkalize your urine and increases your pH to prevent stones. And a urine a pH of 6.8 is considered protective from stones. And you can actually check your own urine for pennies at home with a urine dipstick you can order online. Also avoid medications that can dehydrate you. And if you have to be on them like aspirins, antacids, diuretics, or certain antibiotics, antivirals, including herpes and HIV medications, as well as seizure medications, just know that they can cause stones. And water balance can be really tricky if you're on a diuretics. Make sure you talk to your physician to see if there's another way to treat your condition more naturally. To sum it up, drink plenty of water and and pee often. And when you do eat, eat mostly vegetarian because vegetarian foods simply lower your risk of stones. But that's not processed vegetarian foods. Processed foods are higher in salt and sugar and can elevate your risk of stones. And if you want to learn more about how to check your urine, check out this next video.